Okay guys, so we're gonna start. Uh, this is a product that I mostly use when I'm gonna do any makeup. Uh, first, I used to use just like a moisturizer and then a primer. But then I noticed that because of my acne scars, so if I had like acne at that moment, um, the primer is like, I don't know, it's so bad for your skin. So I just stopped using it. I used to use the cover FX, but I just stopped. And right now, if I want to use something to start moisturizing or hydrating my face before the makeup, I use the Vichy Mineral Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. That It has worked for me amazing. Like, it's... I don't know, look, I'm using a lot. The worst part is the scars because all these like red and little spots are so dark because there's no pimples over here. It's just scars. So damn red. But before that, I have to hydrate my face with this bitchy product. I love it. I really love it. And I've noticed that when I put it on my skin, it doesn't get oily through the day. It's it's awesome. I really like it. So I just put like a little bump. Like two bumps. And then I just put it all over my face. My, fa my face gets super red when I do this. Because my skin is super sensitive. It's so, so sensitive. Sometimes I put like vitamin C at night, also when I do my nighttime routine. So if you want to see how's my nighttime routine, just let me know and I can do that video for you. If I'm going out right now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do a makeup and then just take it off and stay home. So I'm not going to use the sunscreen, but this is very important. I use it every single day. I use this one from La Roche Posay. This one is, it doesn't feel oily, so that's why I like it. It's, I think it's water based. So I don't know, this is really nice. This, after I put my hydrating boost, I put the La Roche sunscreen. Okay, now we're going to see how I cover up those scars. I'm a master at it. I'm just I'm such a badass doing that, so you will see. Okay, so my first step is using a green concealer. This is like a tricky part because if you don't know how to actually blend the product, you're going to see the little green paths like coming through your foundation. So you have to know how to blend it. So I just use the LA Girl LA uh, Pro Concealer. I never put it like directly to my face because the acne is a bacteria. So if you put it over here, the bacteria is going to keep on the product and then you're gonna if you put it in another place you're gonna you know spread the bacteria so just don't I just put it in my hand and then with any blending brush whatever you have I just put it right in the scars so I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand and then I just start putting everywhere I use it every day everywhere well not every day when I if I'm honest when I'm like using life foundation I don't care that my scars like they come through I don't care because that's my skin, that's how my skin is and you have to be proud of it like you cannot let anybody else let you feel like it's something like disgusting or something it is not, it is not, you just scars, okay, they're in your face, they're red you can see them but that's it I just grab the little concealer and then I start putting everywhere what I see sometimes I just do it everywhere on the sides of my nose, my nose gets super red. So I just do like on the sides of my nose. Wherever I have scars, which is pretty much on the sides of my cheeks. Because sometimes if you put like the foundation directly with this, the pimple will look like purple. One layer of foundation and then a layer of, uh, of concealer or whatever. So it's like, and then it looks cakey AF. Like it looks cakey AF. Remember that this changes like the color, but not the texture. Like you still, if you have any bump, it's going to show up. Like it's not like it's gonna disappear all oh, like suddenly no the texture you cannot take out the texture of your skin. So after I blend uh, this green concealer that we just add to our face because I really want it to be um, seamless. I'm just gonna use now the foundation the regular foundation. I do not apply concealer because I don't like adding like layers and layers and layers. So I've I've seen that for me it works very nice when I just apply the green concealer. You know, so use the hashtag blend mamita blend because we're gonna start blending right now. 
So I'm gonna use the MAC foundation because I'm a basic bitch. I love it. And I'm gonna apply it with a flat brush, I think. Yeah, it's a flat brush. Because I really want it to be in certain spots. Like, for example, I, I love doing it with a beauty blender, so beauty sponges. But right now, I don't know where I couldn't find mine. So I'm gonna use a, a Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, the F80. You can, if you wanna, if you wanna check this out, you can go to the Sigma webpage and use my code Michelle A R E M U A, so you can have a discount on your um, purchase. So it's you know you can save some money with that code. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like I've tried it a lot of times, and this is a Kabuki very flat brush. I love it. It's very nice. So with this, I'm gonna be very picky to where I want my foundation to be I'm not, I'm not gonna do like just dots and then start blending no because I have a product already in my face and I don't want to drag the whole product I want most of my product to be on the areas that I want to cover of course so I just spread a little bit over there and over here which is where I want my foundation to cover the most and I know this is a little light, the thing is I just want to contour later with uh, with some liquids. So I'm going to start just tapping my face with the brush. I'm not going to drag everything, I just want to tap. Because I really want the product to, you know, get into my skin. And cut. The thing is that this foundation works pretty awesome on me. Okay, so the foundation was looking a little too light for me. But I just fixed it because I put some... Then NYX Total Control um, drops in a very dark is a mocha color. It's very dark, but I use this because it's very liquid to actually match my foundation. And what I did was tap. The thing is that this foundation is very full coverage, so you see that just with one layer, like it cover up everything. Sometimes if I want my foundation to stay like this after this, I spray a little bit of the uh, Urban Decay uh, the setting spray, but. I do it when I want my foundation to actually look like this or after I do my contouring which is what I'm gonna do right now because I really want you to see how I cover up with like the contour highlight and that's it like I really wanted to go explaining my face how I do my face with my pimples and all my scarring and all that so first I'm gonna start with the contouring I have a little palette so I just put like some drops over there I just blend like I'm using this synthetic brush by uh, Crown Cosmetics, I got it at the Booksy Charm box, so I just use this, I like try to blend everything together and then I start creating my shape. I just did my brush and I want to see how I want my face to look. So I just do some taps where I want my cheekbone to be very snatched. And then I just start blending everything. What I really like about this is that with the same brush, I just grab whatever is left in the brush and then I try to contour my face, but I drag all the product way to the top of my crease. So it will go like a complete shadow through my nose. So it will look very natural and nice. It's not like just two lines on my nose. I just put a little pressure on my brush so I can have it like this. And then I just go with whatever is left on my brush and create my contour of the nose and then bring it to the beginning of my eyebrow or my crease and you see that now our face has a little bit of shape now we're going with the concealer and then we're gonna blend that out okay now that we have this I'm gonna go in with my born this well born this well I'm going in with my Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced in the color Natural Beige. I'm just gonna, this is like kind of my tone, my shade. It's not to highlight, but I don't know, it like gives you that like little, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's my color, but it's not like a bright highlight. You will see, it's very nice, I really like it. It's like a peachy tone, that's what I like about this, this shade. And also in this place, I, I really try to get it as close I can go to my lower lash line. 
And right now I'm gonna go in with a very small um, kabuki brush because I really want to blend everything nice and slow. So what I'm gonna do is on the outside of what we just apply, I'm gonna blend because I really want the product to stay in the middle. I really want the product to just press, be pressed over there too. I don't want to drag it everything down to my to the end of my eyes. I really want just to blend over here and then in the middle just tap so the product we uh, like get into my skin. Even with my fingers, because my fingers sometimes blend better than a brush. And then on the middle, I'm just gonna tap so I can press the product to my skin. For example, in that part, I'm gonna use the Sigma brush that had the foundation on, because I really wanna mix the forehead, the contour on the forehead with my regular concealer. So there will be no harsh line. Okay, so have you seen how we cover all the scars? Like it doesn't even look that we had one. I'm just going to seal all that we just did when you're happy with your result, when you're happy with your contour and your highlight. We just... Woo, we just seal. Dry a little bit and then that's it. That's how I cover my scars. It's very easy. The thing is that you have to blend, like blend, blend. You just have to blend. That's it. That's the whole thing. Like, I can't... If I put... Like the real time I spend blending on YouTube, it will be like an hour long video or something like that. Because I do like to take my time and blend because it does make the difference. So I'm just like, no, mamita, no, 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 no. Blend, okay, so that's it for today. Hey guys, so this is the result of the whole makeup, the complete makeup. This looks bomb. Look, I did a mini tutorial, a mini tutorial on my Instagram. You can check that out. And then if you like how we did this fabulous makeup, then don't forget to subscribe, okay? Follow my Instagram over here. I'm going to leave all the details down below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Muchos besos para ti. Bye.